Hi, now we will see what is microservice and how to create microservice applications using Spring Boot. So, microservice is a very small service. We can easily distribute our service. So, we can easily maintain our service. So, let's see how to create microservice using Spring Boot. Let me show you the palm.xml file. This is my palm.xml file. Here we have to include Spring Boot dependencies, then data dependencies for REST API, then Spring Boot Maven plugin also we have to include. This is sample palm.xml file. Then by default the Spring application will come the Tomcat server with 8080. Here I am changing the server properties, the address I am changing to localhost, then port number I am changing to from 8080 to 8081. So now we see pom.xml file and application.properties file. Now let's see how to create a Spring Boot applications for microservice. So let's go to the, this is my package you can see com.microservice here microservice application this is the our root file the main method available here so spring application dot run this is the run method so calling our microservice application class so here this annotation we have to mention here because spring will understand where we have to boot the application this is the root of our application root please so spring boot application annotation we have to mention in our main class okay then after calling this class let's create the controller see we are going to create the rest api so we need to put rest controller then request mapping the parameter the request url no? we are giving the v1 parameters the path then sample controller i have account controller this is sample logger file how to log the message into our logger file ok the request mapping will map the our request url into our controller so uh, after v1 we have the parameter name like in get account the path name then the method is http method is the request method is get method the produced type is application dot application slash json values so this is the sample method to handle our REST API. So I am using get API. Simply I have customer entity. In the customer entity, just I am setting the customer account number, then available balance, then customer name. Then simply I am responding uh, HTTP status OK, which means 200 success. You can see sample customer entity. If this is the model class, simply I am giving here getter and setter method for account number, customer name, available balance. So, this is the way create the REST API, I mean the microservice. Uh, let's see how to run this application. You have to right, right click, go to run as, click Spring Boot app. So, I have already run this application. You can see in the console, the application already started. Okay. Now, we will go to our REST client tool to, to test our REST API. So this is our REST API, the URL, the get method, then localhost 8081, then v1 get account. So I am clicking here, I am getting the response of 200 OK. You can see the response data coming as a JSON data. Thank you. Thank you for visiting this video.